Hey, have you ever been watching a movie and you look at some of the scenery and some of the filming location and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I think I've been there before. Well, that just recently happened to me. Especially when I was watching uh, Mission Impossible and this chase scene through Paris really made me think back to a trip that we had taken to Paris, my family and I. And I'm watching it and I was like, hey, yeah, I mean, I was there. I was right there around the Arc de Triomphe and and uh, seeing the traffic. Now, obviously, there's always a lot more people than this around there. They they had to close it down for filming. But here you go. Here's some pic. Here's a picture that I took while we were there. And um, so you know, it's it's nice to watch a movie and say, hey, I've been there, and I know that location. So, uh, during the Mission Impossible movie, I'm watching this, and I'm even watching him as he's going down the different streets. There's different restaurants on, on some of the corners, and uh, I'm just wondering, oh, did I go by any of those? So anyway, my trip was in 2019. The realization of something else happened this year in 2023. All right, so here we are. It's a view to a kill. And James Bond is meeting with a uh, private detective who's looking into Max Zorin. And he's just about to try to give Bond some in-depth information. And he winds up getting killed by Mayday, Zorin's hench person. And um, a chase is going to break out on the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So, you know, I'm I'm thinking, oh, I've I've been to the Eiffel Tower while while I was in Paris. It never dawned on me that I had visited some actual filming location while we were there. And you're going to I'm going to show you some of the places where I where we really were. So, eventually, Mayday, she's going to get up there and she's going to jump off. She's going to jump off the Eiffel Tower. And we're going to see some footage in the background to kind of show where um, where in the area um, around the Eiffel Tower I had been. So keep, uh, keep this in mind right here. So this little scene right here where he stops and the scenery behind him, we were down there. We were down there by that area so here we go there there we were that's the building right there um, um, we were there at night we were there during the day as well here's a little bit of a closer uh, picture of it and um, and then the courtyard you can kind of see the grassy area the rows of trees it's all still like that to the say this was 1985 but now here, this was in 2019. So here's the grassy area that leads right up to the building, always full of people. So he watches her. She's floating down. And um, off in the distance is where um, Bond and Mayday are going to be jumping onto a boat. Now, keep in mind that building right there, that's going to come into play. So Mayday, she's going down to the Seine. And we were on the Seine as well, so I'll show you some pictures of that. Um, Bond, he's going to be chasing after Mayday. Okay, now look here. You see right there where the cab is right underneath the Eiffel Tower? They don't do that anymore. Uh, if, as you can see, there's this glass barrier um, on the outside of the Eiffel Tower. Now, you can get in there, um, but traffic can't. Cars can't get in there. So Bond runs out here. He uh, yeah, yanks him out of the car, takes his car, throws him into what there's vendors. And to this day, there are tons of vendors around there. Um, here's a picture of just one of the vendors. And they're all lined up along that glass barrier um, selling little miniatures of the Eiffel Tower. 
Okay. So, yep, there's there's the vendor. Still to this day, Bond is chasing it. Now, this street, this street right here, we were on this street. I couldn't believe it when I was watching the footage. And I'll, I'll show you. Um, and we were right in the area where this scene happens, where he drives down along the Seine. So this is it right here. This is the street. This is the corner right there where the cab goes through. And he would go down into to the right. This was during the day. This is the same corner. Now, I'll be able to show you why I know this is the right corner um, in a moment. So, Bond goes through uh, that area. He goes through that street. He goes down the sta these stairs that were there. So, look, look up there. Look up there to the right. There's a man standing by a horse. Over here, that, that's, this is the picture I took. There's the man standing by the horse again. So I know I'm on the right corner, and the, the stairs are just down to the right. So Bond, he's driving down the stairs. He's watching Mayday. He's going to he's gonna try to track her. He's driving down this street um, that follows the Seine and uh, where all the boats are um, that you can take to, to take a, a ride on the Seine. This is the street. This is um, overlooking that street. So without even realizing it, I took a picture of the location. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I thought this area looked familiar, and now I know why. So um, you'll see that bridge in the background uh, with the white um, part of the bridge sticking out. And then he's following Mayday as she's going further down the Seine. You see some of that bridge in the background again. And Bond comes to a... So here's Mayday. So you can see she lands on one of the boats. Bond pulls up here and um, onto this bridge. And now she's approaching a second bridge right after the one she jumped off of. There's the building in the back. Remember I said keep an eye on that building. The big bubbly building. That's where he's jumping on, on the bridge. There it is. There it is. There's so that means it's near that building. It's got to be those bridges. So the the one in red is the one where Mayday lands. Bond meets up at the next bridge and then he is going to jump on. So there it is. This is the area. There's the big bubbly building. I don't even know what it's called. I'm sorry, but and then off in the distance um, it's not this bridge, but the one with the golden statues up top. It's the next bridge back is where Bond jumps onto the boat. So um, right here, this is the one where Bond jumps onto the boat. And I'm going to get some more details. Look at the detail on this bridge as he jumps down into there. And he says, congratulations. And then he's trying to keep an eye on Mayday, trying to keep up. She's running along the boat, jumps into another getaway speedboat, and he's stuck there, and he he has no idea. So, so that bridge, um, we were right there, my whole family. I was taking pictures in that area. I was at the scene. So here's our boat trip. We were on the Seine right here uh, on, a, on a restaurant boat and it was a it was a lunch cruise uh, we had wine and amazing food and dessert uh, go right along uh, get to see the Eiffel Tower which is right there along the river and um, thoroughly got to enjoy being on those boats um, the architect of the Eiffel Tower also for a Statue of Liberty this is going under one of the bridges right there there's the, that's the towers with the golden statues on top. So that's the one that Bond had jumped off of to get down into the boat. So we actually, we went on a boat right there underneath where Bond jumped off onto one of these uh, types of boats. And um, so here's some further proof of this. So here's Bond jumping down. Look at the detail of the lamps along the bridge and the, and everything else. And then here's a picture I took. I zoomed in while on the boat. So there's the lamps. There's the architecture of, of the, the pattern on the bridge as well.
So wouldn't you know, I visited filming location of a Bond movie and I hadn't even realized it. I couldn't believe it. But as I was watching these scenes um, a while back this year, I was like, boy, some of this really looks familiar. I'm going to have to go through my pictures. And guess what? I was there. I got to visit another Bond site and I didn't even realize it. 